say that to Heidegger is about discovering new things, new abilities. But to us, raw campus is our second home. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a second home. It's a home away from home. On the metaphor of a, a journey. What we were looking for, the concept was a holistic approach, which means the whole person, not just the academic person, the whole person we're interested in developing. Not just on the academic, but also on the social and personal aspects, emotional aspects I suppose of, of growing up as a young man, uh, about offering experiences in the great outdoors with the idea under that being that a boy would get to know more about himself. Two, one. Hello, LA. everybody. Welcome to Tilfu Campus. Come to Tilfu Campus. And welcome to Tilfu Campus. Tilfu Campus. Yeah. And welcome to Tilfu Campus. And welcome to Tilfu Campus. <laughs> It's not a one-size-fits-all where you come into my classroom and I teach you what I think you need to know. There's a lot of student-led stuff that we do, particularly through the projects, but also in the, the subject areas as well, where students get to decide what it is that they want to learn and need to learn and work through that. It's more about the boys stepping up, taking responsibility for themselves in the cabin, in the classroom, um, and the projects and the outdoors, um, rather than the teachers doing it all for them. This is Nana, and this is Kifi, and we're going to go for a campus and I'm trying to convince you guys to come here. Right, they don't just talk to you in a group, they talk to you one on one, so if you've got problems in maths, they can explain to you in a explain it to you in a logical form that's not like out of my side. Teachers are always always explaining stuff carefully and making sure it works not too hard. It's, it's not too easy, but it's just perfect and right for us. And if we're struggling, they're always there to help us, they're always there to make sure make sure we're right and we're on the right track. So yeah. Yeah, done with that. So we moved to this. Okay? Redefinition. The two things do the same job. They get you from A to B, but they do it completely differently. Like other stuff you do is overwhelming. It's fun. You learn so many new things. Basically, outdoor trips are so fun. Like, the teachers are really good. Just because it's an awesome time. You learn a lot about yourself, about others. New experiences and yeah. it's me and I just, like um, get away from the city to like here you have like time to think about like life. life yeah. All the outdoor trips, the fitness and the trying to find yourself in a practical way, trying new stuff that keeps us open to like the world and what it has to offer, learning who you are. challenging
interesting time I've had at Rural Campus had to have been... Start, you know, you, you have to learn to stay for two weeks rather than just one. But you know, you've got a lot of boys there just looking after you. You get through it and then you have a good time. Probably the fitness. Yeah. I found the fitness really challenging, but like running alongside your brothers and like training and all that makes it really easier. Right at the start of the year, when I arrived, it was just so different. I wanted to leave, but I just got through it. But I know I still have my brothers here, so I just got through it, stayed, and it got better. start I am not a very physical person I hate running but you do a lot of running at rural campus and I guess it's just like the encouragement you get from the teachers just to keep on going break through that pain barrier and just try to strive to be the best you can be probably like living with the guys in my cabin because I was just so much different they were all like young and free and kind of like rebel and I was more like the Sit, and sit up straight, do your work, pass with good grades and stuff. But I learned to live with that, being more laid back and try and be friendlier instead of just sticking to myself. I've probably like learned more about myself and about like what I'm capable of, and probably just in the outdoor stuff. I see it like what you're capable of. That's kind of what the staff here at Teharanga encourage us to do. I grew a love for the outdoors through rural campus. Like I hadn't really done serious tramping or camping, but I love it now and I'll actually go out with friends and stuff now and do all that. The sense of achievement you got. You grew up, you became a man to do things for yourself. A license to life. Yeah, from junior campus and you're used to you know matering yeah. just doing all of the stuff. And then Rural Campus just makes you more independent. It's different. Uh, it's kind of hard staying away from her, but you get family here too. We look after you. And yeah. I believe my most memorable outdoor achievement at Royal Campus had to be the Pinnacles in the Coromandel. It was a great hike, long. I was sick halfway up, but I still got there. Got to the top of like seven o'clock, and it's a beautiful view. It's my most memorable, favorite achievement of all. Yeah, I've done with the outdoors probably the Waitomo Caves. Was, uh, I never thought I'd do that before, and I was just proud of myself for completing it. So far for me, it was probably tough guys. It was They're cheap, man. Yeah, like, it's it's so ugly. Cool. It's yeah. You lose a shoe, you just walk in, walk in. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's not funny. No, it's quite hard, isn't it? Before, hard work. It's a lifetime experience. Yeah, you wait till the second lap. That's even more fun. <laughs> keep, keep going. Good pucky. Nice one, John. This ain't funny, man. <laughs> you got to shower for like one week to get all the dirt off. I haven't even showered yet. 2.4k run. Came first then. I was like, yell suck. Because I kept on going, coming like third and second and that and all the runs. And then I came to that last 2.4k run and I like pushed myself with my heart, I came first. Yeah. Oh, and, and completing the tough guy challenge. I was happy uh, when I finished. Yeah, I dived at the finish line because I was happy and there was another person next to me because we were having a race. And that's how I got this. Yeah, probably too happy with the jump. Brotherhood, um, brotherhood. Brotherhood. We do everything together. We we eat, we sleep, we, we lie, work, we cry together. Everything is equal. Yes. Yeah.
to get something different. Uh, there's a lot of things you do here, even though they might seem like a bit of a drag, that you can't do anywhere else. With all the champions, sea kayaking, rock climbing, biking, every, it just goes on, but yeah. I reckon this campus could change your life, eh? Like, for me, but I just found out that like outdoor stuff is like fun and like best thing in the world. Like, if you stay in a house, like with your brothers, and, and your people actually care for you, and your staff are like cool ass. I mean, how often do you get to go rock climbing? Well, on actual proper rocks, not much, eh? Yeah. Well, when I was year eight, I was kind of skeptical about going ups. I was pretty nervous. But I had all these people telling me it's great, it's an awesome opportunity, things like that. And they're not wrong. It's really fun. And you may not take my word for it, but just try. Try something new, and I guarantee you. <laughs> Welcome. 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 <laughs> <laughs>